Mesa is proud to present a new bending tutorial for the MC650. We'll begin with the three rollers on each axle without any separation between them and secured with the fixing nut. This device allows you to bend the simplest profile, a flat platen. You insert the material, clamp it, and then bend it. Now, we'll install the small roller and the medium one so they can easily be adjusted to the exact dimensions of the profile in the U-shape of the bend. The same arrangement can bend a U-profile in both directions. Use manual mode to position the rollers. If you want to make a complete circle, it's best to adjust the initial profile position as much as possible. This will prevent the non-bent section on the end from being too long and colliding with the axles upon closing the ring. When bending a round pipe with welding, the seam must be placed at the front or back, but never at the top or bottom as it could alter the dimensions of the curve radius. Now let's make a protective fence. To do so, make a mark on the pipes at 800 millimeters from each end. Then load the program to produce this part. To do so, move the pipe to the mark and do the corresponding bending on both sides. Control Automatic Mode enables mass production of these parts. To create spiral geometry with a constant pass, move the material hardener to the outside and loosen the nut on the outside roller to facilitate the bending. Once the pass is correct, secure the nut. Now the machine is ready to make a bike rack. To bend large size profiles, you must position the rollers so the work with the material is always done as close as possible to the inside of the axle. Especially with large profiles, you may have to lubricate or grease the material to facilitate bending. This recommendation minimizes the machine effort and prevents marking the profile. To create a sample rod, first select the profile. Enter the dimensions, sections, and thickness. Select the type of material from the list. Place the rollers on the upper axle in the proper position and choose the point of contact between the profile and roller, interior or exterior. Repeat the same operation with the rollers on the lower axles. Check for the radiuses in the library. Select Manual Mode, position the roller on the left at a reference of 21 and bend the first section of the sample rod until the mark is found. Measure the actual radius obtained, 936 millimeters, and add it to the database.
Now, position the roller on the left at a reference of 20. And bend and measure the radius obtained again to add to the library. 921.8 millimeters. Repeat the same operation for the other sections previously marked on the profile. Raising the left roller one reference unit each time. At the end of this process, you'll have very valuable information that will help you produce future parts with great accuracy. This radius library can always be checked and expanded. We're going to make an example, manufacturing an oval table with a square pipe. To do so, Insert the profile dimensions 40 by 40, the thickness 3 millimeters, and the material steel. Configure the rollers on the upper axle and on the lower axles. Then check the information in the database. For example, we want the two circular sections on the table to have a radius of 450 millimeters. You look for that radius in the table and find the position for the rollers, references 8 and 45.6. The first step in the program is to lower the two lower rollers to a reference of 140 in order to release the part once produced. Make sure that you can easily remove the material at this point and record this unload position in the first step of the program. Move the rollers to the material loading position. In this case, references 50 and 50. Record this second step in the program. The third step references 45 and 45. This is what's known as the clamp position. In this position, the profile is secured by the rollers and can move right and left without deforming. Record it. The information icon shows the steps taken up until now. With the left roller at a reference of eight, you get the desired radius of 450 millimeters. Record step four. Put the rollers back in the clamp position. Step 5. Place the right roller at a reference of 8 to make the second bend. Record this step and add another with a reference of 45 to center the part before removing it from the machine. Assign a name to the program to use it in the future. We are going to produce several tables. To do so, put all the pipes with the weld in the same position so the bend does not change from one part to another. Mark the starting point for each bend on both ends. Start the program by selecting the following in the second step, loading position. Load the material. Select the third step, clamp step, and move the pipe to the first mark using the joystick. Select step four and we'll make the first bend.
Continue with step 5 and move the part to the following mark. Do step 6 and do the final bend in the table. By adjusting the standard rollers, you can make a solid round bend of up to 50 millimeters or two inches. You must always remember to loosen the nuts half a turn after contact with any type of profile. As can be observed, you can see how the rollers have marked the rod on the inside and outside of the part. To avoid these marks, you must use the same rollers as used to bend the round pipe. Another additional advantage is they allow you to obtain much smaller radiuses. Let's replicate this spiral made with a 20 millimeters pipe and an outside radius of 130 millimeters. To do so, go to the program folder and choose the desired one which was previously created, load it, and activate the machine to begin working. This is one of the many advantages of the new Narhesa Bending Assistant. Having finished these three equal spirals, you can see just how accurate and repetitive the MC650 bending machine is. As already mentioned, it is important for the weld to always be in the same position to prevent any variation in the final diameter. You can create another sample rod with an 80 by 40 by 4 U profile. Mark the bar every 500 millimeters. Select the profile considering the correct bending direction and enter the dimensions height, width, and thickness. Choose the type of material to work with. Aluminum. Check to see if you've already done a bend using this type of profile by accessing the radius database. Begin by placing the left roller in the reference 64 position. Bend the first section using the joystick. Measure the resulting radius and enter it in the database. Repeat the process by successively closing the radius more and more. With all the radiuses entered, you have a valuable quantity of information to speed up the bending process in the future. Now, let's do a new program. Select the U profile with the desired bending direction. Enter the dimensions and type of material. Check the information on the reference positions to get the desired radius of 510 millimeters. Position the rollers in the first step, material unloading position. References 120 and 120. Record it. Move the rollers to the following position, material loading step.
Save it and look for the material contact or clamp position. Record this step and place the left roller in the reference position 42. Save one last time to finish the program. Assign a name to the program and the machine will be ready to work. With the part made, check that the radius obtained is correct, 510 millimeters. By placing the rollers in this position, you can bend any type of platen with no allowance in millimeters or inches from the widest to the narrowest. Now, let's bend a spiral with a 60 by 50 platen with a specific step between circles. To do so, move the output hardener to force the material to respect this distance. To bend a stainless steel pipe, Use the Sterin rollers. This will prevent scratching and contamination of the profile due to contact between the two materials, stainless steel and iron. In this case, work in manual mode to produce a single part. Here's another example. If the bend radius obtained is not exactly as desired, the control allows you to make corrections in the roller reference position in any of the program steps and save the changes. This way, the resulting part will always have the required dimensions. The horizontal position means you can make large bend radiuses. Let's create a structure for a greenhouse with a 2-inch galvanized pipe with a radius of 1,250 millimeters. To do so, select step 2 in the program and put the rollers in the loading position. Insert the pipe and make the bend. As can be seen, the machine control unit easily moves to make the entire process more comfortable. To bend a flat, rectangular pipe or without any allowance, position the rollers in the same configuration. You just need to adjust them to adapt to the size. The same happens with the square pipe. Adjust the rollers at different dimensions.
Select and load a program to make the bend in several passes. The control allows you to create up to 1,000 steps per program and to save 10,000 different programs. If the roller makes a slight mark on the pipe, loosen the nut to reduce the friction. To bend a solid square, the ruler arrangement should be the same as for a hollow profile. For an ideal adjustment of the smallest profiles, change the roller configuration. In this case, replace the 40 roller with the 65 one. Remember that it is important to bend in the section of the axles closest to the machine when working with large profiles. This will prevent any mechanical overstrain. If you want to achieve lower radiuses in small-sized profiles, you can change the roller arrangements in the upper axle so the material comes into contact with the outer area. Here you can see how to position the rollers to bend a T-profile towards the outside. To bend a T-profile laterally, arrange the rollers in the upper axle with the same configuration as in the lower axles. Now let's bend a T-profile to the inside. To do so, you have to adjust the configuration of the lower rollers to form a flat surface. The arrangement of the rollers to bend a round pipe must be the same in the three axles.
Suspending a construction rhea is very simple as you use rollers for a round pipe. In this case, due to the dimensions of the material, use rollers with two grooves. Don't forget that the arrangement of the rollers in all of the axles must be the same. Let's bend an angled profile with a radius of 450 millimeters. Select the existing program. Check the roller configuration in the upper axle and lower axles. They're the same as observed on the machine, which guarantees the resulting part will always be equal. Install the support rollers for an angled profile. Cutting the upper wing of the angle as a chamfer is recommended so there is no sudden impact between the hardener and the material. This is only necessary for large sized profiles. It softens the entrance of the material. For good results, it's important for the support roller to always maintain contact with the upper wing of the angle to be bent. Production of agricultural machinery often requires bending an angled profile with the vertex to the outside. To bend small-sized steel pipes, Narhesa manufactures tempered D7 rollers with two canals for two different measurements in the same roller. For larger sized pipes, it can be machined with a single groove. For more delicate materials like stainless steel, brass, copper or aluminum, we manufacture the same type of rollers but in cisterin, which is a highly resistant thermal plastic that prevents marks and contamination due to contact between different metals. Three thick rollers, three washers, three nuts, three rollers with an outer groove, three smooth rollers with fitting, and three rollers with two outer grooves are supplied with the machine. By combining them, you can bend any of the profiles shown up until now except the round pipe. The rollers for this are supplied separately as there are dozens of measurements. The machine is shipped completely assembled. You just have to connect the control unit and activate the switch to begin working. The bending assistant can work in automatic or manual mode. You can select it by pressing the roller you wish to move. By moving the joystick up or down, you can move it vertically. By moving the joystick to the right or to the left, you can rotate the rollers in both directions. You can also position the rollers with greater accuracy by pressing on the reference level, entering the target position, and activating the on button. There is a rod to vary the speed of the rollers in rotation and in the positioning. The adjustment can be done without stopping the movement underway. You can choose the geometry and bending direction with the profile library. Height. Width. Thickness. Material. You can also check the radius database where you can add new records, edit existing ones, or delete them. Select the desired program in the program library. To load one, press the load icon. Information on program steps. Step one, removal of the part. Step two, loading position. 
Step 3, Clamp Position. Step 4, Bending Reference Level. Alternating between editing and production modes. Possibility of adding and modifying steps. Delete steps. Delete programs. Create new programs. Select the profile. Choose a pipe measurement from the library in millimeters or inches. In this case, three American inches. Wall thickness, three millimeters. You can connect a pen drive in the USB port. Enter the password NARHESA and import and export data between a PC and the control unit. Another main advantage of Nathesa bending machines is the integrated 4.0 technology. Whenever a customer agrees, our technical service can remotely connect to update the software, find anomalies, and even use the machine without needing to travel. The benefits of 4.0 technologies are endless, and the distance between the consumer and manufacturer disappears. Echo mode with the start-stop mode to reduce electricity consumption as much as possible. Orbital movements of the rollers for better use of the material and to create bends with much smaller radiuses than pyramidal bending machines. Three pull rollers to guarantee the ideal grab, speed, and a good finish. Possibility of moving the machine easily with a forklift. Pop-up warnings and notifications, such as a greasing alarm, to remind you of the importance of keeping the gear set well greased. Easy access to the warning and notification log from the operating screen to view, check, and reset existing alarms. Thanks for your trust in us, continuing to make progress. Thank <laughs> you.